Una. U- Una, I have a question. We're live now. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, thank you once again for each one of us stepping into our place right where we are right now, anchoring the grid, the grid we are creating right in our home, each one of us. Thank you to each and everybody who is here stepping into our place in the circle, our place in the galaxy, our space in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Thank you for stepping into our place in the solar system, cradled in the arm of Orion. Please put in the chat where you are, where you are now on the globe, just so that we have an idea of the global expanse, maybe also the time of day or night. We so appreciate the people who get up early and go to bed late. A few days ago, I had a vision in, I was in a hypnagogic state as I was waking up. And I kind of would assume that others are having similar visions. So here is what presented itself to me. I saw the earth, but it was white and golden and people were gathered everywhere. And then as if there were a secret sign in every crowd, there was a person who stood up and blew a horn. It, it was a little bit like a flash mob. First, we, we don't suspect anything. And then all of a sudden, I am in awe of the perfection of all these people standing out in the crowd, standing up and blowing their horn. There were no words, just the sound of the horn. And this sound, it carried an image of peace, powerful, glorious peace throughout the galaxy. I have no idea how this peace is going to come about. But I know for certain that it will. And quite possibly, that is exactly how it will happen through that absolute faith, that faith in that it will happen. That is what makes it happen. Not necessarily through words, but foremost through the image carried by the frequency. And as I became more awake, I thought to myself, well, isn't this exactly what we are doing here? around the globe, one by one, standing up in the crowd and sending out a frequency that carries peace. One of the profound words of wisdom passed down to me from the ancient ones of the far north says, my way is not the only way. There are many ways of doing C5 many ways of connecting in peace and in love. And my way is one way. And your way is another way. And we all are aware of this. And so it is that we have had many teachers, many who have gone before us. And today we will experience adaptations from those many ways. And what they all have in common is a particular frequency that carries the image of peace. Let us begin. Namaste. Beloved, come home. Come home to the infinite power that lives within you. Come home to the remembrance of who you are. Come home to your inner peace 
and to the light of your soul's essence. Come home because it is your time to heal and to rise. So take a deep breath into your center. Feel it now. The divine is calling you and filling you with strength to support you in coming home. There is a place of stillness within you that is wise, aware, present, perceptive, grounded, and trusting. There is no deeper truth. You are sacred. You are divine. You are love. This is the true core of your being, hidden beneath the layers of the hurt that this world has wrapped around you. The illusion of separation is now shedding. You are coming home into the divine embrace of oneness, purity, remembrance. You feel it now. The inner resonance that knows that in every cell of your body that you are love. You are divinely connected. You are worthy. You are home. So breathe in and breathe out. You have arrived. Welcome home. Namaste. Let's open sacred space together. We call to the south, to the winds of the south, great serpent. Wrap your coils of light around us. Teach us to shed the past the way you shed your skin, to walk softly on the earth. Teach us the beauty way. We call to the west. To the winds of the west, Mother Jaguar, protect our medicine space. Teach us the way of peace, to live impeccably. Show us the way beyond death. We call to the north, to the winds of the north, hummingbird, grandmothers and grandfathers, ancient ones. Come and warm your hands by our fires. Whisper to us in the wind. We honor you who have come before us and you who will come after us, our children's children. We call to the east, to the winds of the east, great eagle, condor, come to us from the place of the rising sun. Keep us under your wing. Show us the mountains we only dare to dream of. Teach us to fly wing to wing with the great spirit. We call to Mother Earth. We've gathered for the honoring of all your children, the stone people, the plant people, the four-legged, the two-legged, the creepy crawlers, the finned, the furred, and the winged ones, all our relations. We call to Father Sun, to Grandmother Moon, and to the star nations. Great Spirit, you who are known by a thousand names and you who are the unnameable one, thank you for bringing us together and allowing us to sing the song of life. Let's sit in silent meditation together.
It is possible to accelerate thought to a speed unknown to those who have no feelings. We can imagine this acceleration as the spokes of a wheel turning, accelerating, until it looks like there are no spokes on the wheel. We can imagine each one of us a spoke. And then we move as a single mind, a single wheel, with a burning desire, a desire to evolve, to heal, to make contact in friendship and in love. We will now be led in three meditations, flowing into each other, weaving together what we have been taught, flowing from a personal grounding meditation into the next meditation, one of joining of all our energy fields, and then onto an expansion into the cosmos with CTS, coherent thought sequencing, and a vision of our new Mother Earth and the universe. Namaste. So we breathe in and on the out breath, we see the number three with our inner eye, clear and big. On the next out breath, we see the number two, big and clear with our inner eye. On the next out breath, we see the number one, tall, upright, bright and clear with our inner eye. On the next out breath, we see the number zero, majestic, beautiful, shining and clear. We see how the zero dissolves like ripples in the water. There is nothing and you drop into your heart space, the nothingness, the everything. Feel your heart with its primal beat. There is only this beat. And you send your love, your resonance in whatever way works for you down to the heart space of our mother mother earth feel the heart space of our mother feel hear sense and tune into her heart mother earth is a living conscious being and she has a heart feel your heart resonate with her heart feel yourself enveloped by the consciousness the beingness of mother earth you might feel for a moment that you are Mother Earth. And now we wait, hearing our heartbeat. We listen, 
always mother earth sends her love back to us we feel it we hear it sometimes it takes a few minutes but always she loves us she supports us and now we send our love and our resonance to Father Sky, the Sun, the stars, the cosmos. Feel the hot space of our Father, the Sky. Tune into the Sun or into the center of our galaxy. The sky is a living, conscious being, and he has a heart. Feel your heart resonate with his heart. Feel yourself enveloped by the consciousness, the beingness of Father Sky. You might feel for a moment that you are the sky. Again, we sit back and wait, listening, feeling, and again, Father Sky sends his love back to us. We feel it and we hear it. It may take a few moments, but he always loves and protects us. With the love of Mother Earth and the love of Father Sky filling our hearts, we begin to breathe like a whale or a dolphin. We breathe in to our heart from both our crown and root chakra at the same time and out from our heart into our energy field, our aura. We breathe into our heart from our fontanelle and from our perineum, from Father Sky and Mother Earth and out into our light body, our aura. Namaste. Let us stay connected to this toroidal energy field. Breathing deeply through the nose and out from the mouth. Breathing in love. Breathing out all our stresses and tensions. We start by building a protective dome. We visualize a beam of white light entering our crown chakra, merging with the violet and the indigo down through the blue of our throat and the green of our heart, filling this energy with love, blending the yellow, the orange and the red together, 
we move this color down to our feet and plant it into the earth. We move this energy back towards us increasing in its speed and we build an oval of rainbow light enveloping our body nothing negative can pierce this light for only love can enter it we take a deep breath and exhale, it is done. Now we visualize a beam of blue light entering our crown chakra. Down it goes through our spine and down towards our feet. Here we form a ring of blue light that spins around our body from front to back. Gradually it picks up speed and starts to turn into a sphere, a sphere of blue light. We take a breath. It is done. Now we visualize a beam of white light going down from our crown chakra to our feet. Visualize this light. From our left foot, this white energy rises up the left side of our body over our head and down the right side forming a ring of white light we let this light spin from left to right until it forms a white sphere we take a breath. It is done. Now we visualize a beam of golden light entering our crown chakra and moving down to our feet. We see this golden light leaving our solar plexus and forming a ring. This ring starts to spin from right to left around our waist until it grows to form a golden sphere. We take a breath. It is done. We now let these three spheres spin. As they spin, they accelerate all of our cells, all of our DNA, and all of our atoms. We anchor this energy with the Om Mantra three times. Oh. Oh.
Now we visualize a beam of violet light and it enters our crown chakra, filling our heart and forming a violet sphere inside of it. We take a breath. It is done. Let us visualize that inside of this violet sphere, the hologram of a human being, legs spread apart and arms spread open, gazing up at the heavens. And we see that this being is enclosed by three spheres, one blue, one white, and one golden. All this human's physical, mental, and psychic abilities are activated. They are able to heal. They are able to self-generate and move between dimensions. They are tolerant, they are respectful, and consciously use all energies and all of the elements because their life is governed. Their life is governed by love. We now extend our palms forward to project this hologram of the human being inside of the three spheres. We project this to the center of our earth. From there, the spheres multiply to become millions of spheres, imprinting the hologram inside the hearts of every human and every creature, helping humanity in its transformation by awakening their consciousness, helping the planet by holding and healing it, enveloping the planet with the three spheres, one blue, one white, one golden. We now bring our hands to our chest and press our palms against it. First our right and then our left. We take a breath. For it is done. Namaste. As we sit here together in silence, we watch our breath as it goes in and out. We are centering 
and our consciousness is expanding. We breathe in light and life, and as we exhale, we release all things, all attachments, and become perfectly centered and at peace. Going more deeply now, see that all perceptions are receding, becoming more distant and quiet. We are being established more deeply in this ocean of awakeness within. We see that it is easy to simply be awake and to perceive awakeness itself, neither pushing away the other perceptions nor straining to know awakeness. Effortlessly, simply be awake and aware of the mind that is conscious and quiet within us. Settle more deeply into this ocean of quiet awareness where all perceptions are like distant ripples on the surface of the sea. Perceive that this vast awake mind extends infinitely in all directions, not bound by space or time, but infinite and eternal. This is the true nature of the awake awakeness, whereby we perceive our own breath, our own self, sight, sounds and thoughts. Now, releasing ourselves from all attachment to perception or even self, we see the unbounded quality of this awakeness as universal and every person together in this meditation is awake. That awakeness is one and we are being one in many bodies. One light illuminating every soul and conscious mind we feel the joy and peace of knowing that this awake being, this mind, is ever present within us. We see this same vast awakeness permeating the earth below and expanding into the sky above. Soaring on the wings of this vast and limitless awareness, we expand upwards into the sky and we see that the entire earth beneath us is shining in the light of this awakeness, as is space beyond us and the planets of our solar system, all spinning, swimming in a sea of cosmic, awake mind. Now, effortlessly, we dive upwards into this vast cosmic awareness and find infinite peace and infinite endless awareness permeating the entire creation. There is no separation. There is eternal oneness. We now perceive that the universe, which is itself endless, has advanced extraterrestrial life forms 
and all are awake, even as we are conscious. And through this connection, we are one. We know that there is one conscious being shining, standing within all life. Through that knowledge, we connect with all life forms. As we gaze across the cosmos through the galaxies within the Milky Way, within our solar system and around the Earth, we allow ourselves to see any extraterrestrial people with their beautiful celestial spacecraft. We ask permission to gaze within and we invite these highly evolved beings who are connected to the spiritual and ambassadorial interplanetary council to join us here on earth as we come together as people to celebrate the time of universal peace and the establishment of an enlightened civilization on earth. We invite them to join us here as we show them our galaxy and as we zoom in ever more closely to our solar system, we show them this beautiful planet Earth, the third planet from our star, the Sun. And as we connect with their minds and to their guidance system, we show them our exact locations. We invite them here at this time and place in a spirit of universal peace, acknowledging our oneness with them in the universal awake being within us, this cosmic mind shared by all beings. Now, as we see these beings aware of us and in our mind's eye, we ask that they join us at this time in a meditation and a prayer for Earth and for its transition to the time of its destiny as a place of peace and enlightenment. As we connect with each other, we see those extraterrestrial beings, celestial beings, the great prophets and the enlightened ones, all joining with us. We send from person to person around this worldwide circle, the golden light in our conscious awareness, a beautiful astral light empowered with oneness, peace and love. And as this light goes from left to right making a beautiful circle, it becomes a perfect ring of light enfolding the whole of our mothership Gaia. In our minds, we empower the circle with enormous energy and we send it upwards as a column of light rising from this spot, going into space as a beacon, carrying with it the love of Earth, the oneness we share and the time of peace that we are establishing. This beacon is calling to all beings, join with us in peace. And we see it connecting to every world, every star, every heart, and every life, everywhere, 
all at once. This beautiful golden light spreads out and diffuses throughout the cosmos. We see this light of peace and oneness and love extending into and across the earth beneath us. We visualize the cosmic energy we are transmitting, removing all fear and creating stability through our love. We visualize the course of events on planet Earth shifting into the most positive timeline possible, shifting away from all epidemics, away from all wars, away from all global domination. This beautiful golden light spreads out and diffuses throughout the cosmos. In this state of illumination, we ask for peace on earth, for every selfish heart to be turned into an open fountain of love and generosity, for hatred and enmity to be replaced with peace and love, for greed and avarice to be transformed into altruism and generosity, for separation and sadness to be replaced by the joy of oneness, for every heart to be illuminated, every mind awakened, and every dark place filled with light. As we do this, we see the cosmos and all enlightened beings, material, celestial and divine, joining with us, pouring forth this vision, the chaos ending and the earth coming to its time of peace. Stretching before us, we see thousands of generations of humans living together in peace with wondrous new technologies and sciences that enable us to be in harmony with the earth. With abundance, we banish all disease and poverty, all injustice and all want. On the foundation of this peace and prosperity, we see the hearts of all humanity turning to the pursuit of enlightenment. And in this state, we are welcomed into the vast regions of the stars becoming an interstellar species, being welcomed into the family of planetary societies. As we gaze down through the ages, we We visualize the time where every man, woman and child abiding on earth is living in a state of cosmic awareness where the divine sciences and enlightenment prevail. We ask the great creator being that we, we may be channels, vehicles and instruments for the establishment of peace and the entry of humanity into enlightenment. We see that we are not alone and we have never been alone and we ask to be enabled to work together in the establishment of universal peace and a universal civilization. This we leave as our gift to our cherished children and our children's children. And we are certain that this beautiful vision is already manifest, that we have already been given the knowledge 
the sciences and the wisdom to create this world and to manifest this reality. We consecrate our lives to, to the establishment of this divine civilization. I bow to the divine in you. You are my other me. Namaste. Just focus on your beautiful hearts, keeping your eyes closed as this frequency penetrates your soul, raising your vibration, raising your own frequency to radiate out to our star families to the star nations so that they will see our lights, will read our heart resonance, will see our souls. Feel into your body as this frequency permeates through every single cell, through into your DNA, awakening, activating, enlightening, taking a beautiful deep breath of unconditional love, breathing in and breathing out, feeling that expansion of your heart space and feeling into your body. Sishanatea Ira Marie 
Guru Te Amara. Guru your bodies. Feel the light that shines out from you. Feel the connection to your star families. For they are all here. And let your light shine out beyond time and space, through all dimensions. In unity and harmony. Much love to all. Namaste. I would like to take a moment to sit in gratitude. Gratitude for the precious gift of being here, now, together with all of us. Gratitude for being able to, to feel the light the soul, the evolved being that is within each one of us. Gratitude for the sense of eternity, timelessness, same timeness. Gratitude for the connection to the force of love and compassion. And most of all, gratitude to the teachers who have kept all of this alive. have somehow passed this on, trusting and knowing that we will need this. Namaste. Om Bhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhubhub
Bargo de Vasya de Himahi de Yoyona Prachodaya. Om Bobo Swaha. Om Dhat Sabitu Varenyam Vargo Devasya Dehimehi Deyoyona Prachodayat Om Bobo Vaha Om Tat Savitur Varanyam Dargo Devasya Dehimihi Deyoyona Prachodayat Om Bobo Swaha Om Tat Savitu Varingam Bargo Devasya Dehimahi Deyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhubhava Swaha Om Tat Savitur Varinyam Bargo Devasya Dehimihi Deyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhubhava Swaha Om Tat Savitur Varanyam Bargo Devasya Dehimahi Deyoyona Prachodaya Om Shanti 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 Namaste.